This is the box the Marantz turret comes in. It comes with a condenser microphone and pop filter attached to an arm that attaches to the tower. It also has a camera built into a ring light. All of this attaches via one cable to your computer. This is what it looks like unboxed. You get the tower, of course, a power supply, amber and blue filters for the light, and a USB cable. I suggest getting a power strip. You have two things to plug in, the tower and your laptop. If you don't have a power strip, please find a time machine and join us in the 21st century. The power supply plugs into the back of the turret. A blue light will turn on by the camera and one on the microphone. The light comes with a clear gel attached. You can remove it, it snaps right off, and replace it with an amber gel if you want the light on you to be a little bit warmer. If you'd rather have the light on you be a little cooler in color temperature, you can put on the blue gel. They snap right on and are easy to apply. The light in the camera also swivel back and forth and tilt up and down. You turn on the light and adjust the brightness with the brightness knob. There's also a headphone jack on the turret and a volume knob, and a knob that mixes the PC sound with the microphone sound going into the headphones. You plug the USB cable into the back of the turret, and you'll see a message that says that the installation has started, and moments later you'll get a message that the installation is finished. The whole process takes seconds. Now that it's installed, open up your Zoom, click on the video options, and make sure that Marantz turret is selected. Then go down to video settings, make sure 16 by 9 is selected, enable HD is selected, and mirror my video is selected. Now go down to audio, make sure that the Marantz turret is selected for the microphone, and you can choose between the headphone jack in the laptop or the headphone jack in the turret. And in the bottom left, the microphone icon serves as an audio meter. I like to place the turret behind the laptop, and then I like to elevate the laptop with a box or some books. If you need a little light, add a lamp next to the laptop and the camera, just to splash a little bit more light on your face. If you don't have a lamp, a major award will work too. And of course, windows work well to add a little light to your shot. But if you sit with your back to the window, you're going to look like a Lucchese underboss in witness protection. If you sit parallel to the window, you're only going to light half your face. In this shot, you can see half my face is brightly lit and the other half is dimly lit. And while we're talking about shots, don't get cute with the Emmys. No one's impressed. They give those things to anyone. Trust me. If you're going to be doing your Zoom interviews or live shots from home, it's a good idea if you have small children to make sure that they're occupied with something else during the interviews or live shots. That way they don't wind up in the shot. Another thing to consider is noise. You're not gonna wanna set up your own studio in a room next to your outdoor air conditioning unit because every time it kicks on, it's gonna make a loud cha-chung sound and racket. If you know that the garbage man's gonna come by and you're located in a room next to the street, that might not be a good place to set up because of the noise from the garbage truck. And if you have family members that may be engaging in noisy activities, you may want to find a room to isolate yourself from that noise. That way, the racket from your family isn't interfering with your Zoom interviews or live shots. And if you have a dog in the home, it may be a good idea to put them out in the backyard or find a room that you can put them in and maybe turn a TV on so they're distracted. That way, they aren't in the shot, they aren't barking, and they aren't squirming around while you're trying to do your interviews or live shots. Give these tips a shot in your house, and as always, call me or text me if you need any help.